hi so this is a finance related video and all those people who are watching this i hope that this video turns out to be insightful and knowledgeable for you all so that you can make good decisions in terms of your investment planning in future so as we all know that in an economy people indulge in different types of economic activities to generate revenue income and other benefits or kind assets that they could generate from doing those activities and ultimately the revenue generated could be used for two things first consumption second some part of it is also saved now the saved money has to be invested somewhere so that in future the person can yield good interest income from that source now the question arises is that that money saved could be invested where there are a lot of financial assets and instruments that the money could be invested at so today we will be discussing about those things so before jumping into different sources of investments let us quickly understand the types of investors the first category is of individuals individuals are people like us you me and all the other people are individuals and when it comes to individuals we would want our money to be invested at places which would give us good results and do not get lost at the same time so what do we make we make risk free investments risk free investments are investments which includes very less risk or say no risk at all these are government bonds bank deposits etc the second category of investors is institutions institutions are representative organizations which include professional or masters in investment these are the people who have been making investment decisions since years so they have good knowledge of investing so people usually have faith in them to provide them with their money and then these masters could make investment decisions on people's behalf these institutions include mutual funds endowment funds pension funds insurance companies etc let us talk a little more about mutual funds mutual funds are the companies in which all the investors come and give their money to the professional managers in those mutual funds these professional managers pool together all the money from the investors and invest in the equity market equity market or the stock market and then all the money generated from those stock market some part of it is taken by those professional managers in the form of commission and the rest is lended back to the investors in their ratio of proportion invested now what are pension funds pension funds are the funds created either by the employer or the employees union in order to manage the retirement fund of the employees of companies or the government these funds are contributed by the employer and the employees through the working cycle of the employees and the objective of these funds is to provide benefits to the employees post their retirement let us now understand endowment funds endowment funds are the funds that are managed by non profit organizations in order to maintain steady returns for fulfilling their investments the contributor would generally specify a reason whether it is general or specific and appoint management trustees to manage those funds now with the given diagram i would like to explain the types of deposits in bank there are two types of deposits demand deposits and time deposits the demand deposits are the deposits which can be withdrawn as and when demanded that is the withdrawal is not time bound demand deposits are further classified into two types saving account deposits and current account deposits A saving account caters to the needs of those individuals who wish to save a part of their income and earn interest on the amount saved. Such deposits are payable on demand. That is, such deposits can be withdrawn by the depositor subject to some limitations. Current account deposits. Current account deposits refer to those deposits that provide the depositor or the liberty to withdraw money at any point of time 
generally current account deposits prove successful and useful for businessman as they are required to deal with many transactions in a single day such deposits do not offer any rates of interest the second type of deposits are time deposits these are the deposits which can be withdrawn only after a certain period of time unlike demand deposits they are not payable as and when demanded these are of further two types recurring deposits and fixed deposits under recurring deposit this account the customer deposits a fixed amount periodically up to a certain period the amount keeps on getting accumulated and interest is provided on these deposits and the amount can be withdrawn only after the end of a particular period of time fixed deposits fixed account deposits refer to those deposits that are held for a fixed period of time which is also called the maturity period these deposits cannot be withdrawn before the maturity period hence they are not payable on demand also these deposits are non checkable deposits however due to the longer lock in period involved in the fixed account deposits these deposits involve a higher rate of interest than that earned on the saving account deposits 